Hey guys, Retronia Center here today. I'm just doing a little product review for you. Um, this is the Logitech Z506 um, speaker system. Um, my, the speaker system that I currently have on my computer uh, recently died. So what I did was I looked for something very similar to the one I had in the past and I picked it up. Um, I did a little bit of reviews on it and people seem to enjoy this system. I saw it at Best Buy. It was a decent price. It came out to be $64.99 plus tax. I had a gift card from Christmas so it only cost me like 20 bucks. But um, the speaker seemed a little bit different from the last system I had. And I'll put them side by side to show you like the size difference and things like that. But um, I'm eager to give these a test. So uh, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. So opening up the box, this is what you see. Um, you have your instruction manual here, which is kind of nice. It seems like just for the sake of uh, saving paper, I would assume, they show you how to set it up. But everything seems to be color coordinated, so it shouldn't be that hard of a time setting up, just like the old system I had. Uh, in here is going to be your subwoofer. Um, you have some important information there, which I'll probably just wind up throwing away because it's speakers. It's not rocket science. Um, you have, looks like the cables to the back. Your audio cable, which I probably have like seven of those now. And the power cord is hooked up to this in here. Okay, for sake of time, I am going to unbox the rest of this and cut to the next clip. Okay, here's the speakers unboxed. Um, as you can see, it's uh, a 5.1 surround, I believe, system with your two rears, your two fronts, center, and a subwoofer. Um, compared to my last speakers, their speakers seem to be quite a bit smaller and they seem to be a little bit um, of a less quality as far as the housings of the speaker. Um, the subwoofer is dramatically smaller. Um, however, the um, premise is the same as far as connecting the speakers for the most part. Um, I'll bring you in for a closer look. Now these speakers don't have grill cover plates on the front of them like my old speakers. Um, they do look nice. Um, they have a nice finish to them. Uh, the speakers actually provide a good color as far as, you know, um, visual aspect of it. Um, you know, some speakers that you get, they just look chintzy and they seem chintzy as far as, you know, production. Um, comes with the cables you need to hook up. And like I said, the audio cables. Um, let's turn this around and look at the back of the speakers. Okay, so here's the back of the control unit, which also happens to be the subwoofer. Now, unlike my old system, there was a separate control um, uh, panel that you had on the desk for volume and subwoofer control and um, speaker uh, settings as far as that goes. But it's all through here. As, let me just see if I can turn off this light here. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, so you got your base knob here, which will control your base. You have your audio in, which will be for like your PC. Um, I think that's a 3.5 millimeter jack, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and your other channels here. You have your um, uh, audio for like um, I think it's called RCA cables. This is for your um, speaker inputs for your front two speakers, and then you have your rear, your center, and your front left here. I'm sorry, this is just for the front right because that has the the power with it. Um, as you can see, this is what controls your volume and, and power as far as the on and off for the speakers. Um, so all in all, you know, it's got decent, uh, decent inputs. Um, I like the fact that you have an extra input if you want to use it for like your Xbox or your DVD player or something like that. So that's kind of cool. What I'm going to do now is bring in one of my old speakers and my old subwoofer and compare these side by side. So as you can see here, there's a quite a noticeable difference in size of the two subwoofers. On the left is uh, the Logitech G51, which is my old speaker, and on the right is the Logitech Z506. Um, I'll turn them over so we can see the subwoofer si actual subwoofer size. So as you can see, the subwoofer size is a little bit beefier on the uh, previous model that I had, the uh, G51, compared to the Z506, which is a little bit of a smaller sub. I'd have to say it's probably like a, just on visual, maybe like a two inch difference um, size-wise. As you can see, the rear outputs are fairly similar. Um, 
you know, you have all your inputs to the computer for the 5.1 surround. Um, the only difference for the most part is going to be, as you can see, the front right speaker has, I believe it's a serial port and the front left has your standard connection. Well, as my old model, each individual speakers had the, uh, standard connection with your control pod having the, uh, serial port here. Um, and the difference with this model is in the control pod, it had an input for a microphone. So you could actually hook up a microphone to this and um, play uh, or record voice as well through your computer. Okay, these are the speakers side by side. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a size difference as far as the housing goes. Um, the old Logitech G51s uh, came with um, a grill cover, which was removable. And as you can see, speaker size um, seems to be similar. The housing just makes it appear a little bit larger. Um, just I, I don't, I'm not sure of the exact specs of speaker size. Um, I'm sure that's available on their website. But as you can see, other than being dusty, spe the speaker size seems to be pretty much the same. I had great sound out of this old unit, so I'm very anxious to see what the sound is like on these. Um, I'd be curious to see if I get better sound um, possibly plugging the old speakers into the new control unit, which happens to be the subwoofer, um, but we'll see when it goes. Okay, so I plugged the speakers in and I gave it a quick listen on my uh, with my phone and some music. Um, for the sake of copyright infringement, I'm not going to be posting any sound with the speakers, but I gotta say, for what it's worth and the price, these speakers are awesome. Um, it, I, I turned everything on lowest setting at first, you know, bass all the way down and my volume most of the way down. And it was, you know, quiet, but it was nice and crystal clear. Um, once I cranked those up, I'd say I put the volume to quarter and I put the bass all the way up. This thing was pounding pretty good. It's a 150 watt peak sy system. Um, sound quality was great. Uh, I'd be curious to see how it performs. Let's say if you got a DVD playing through it or something with uh, the surround sound. Um, but even with the um, rear speakers plugged in, it gave me a nice, um, I could really hear the guitars come through and the song I was playing, much more so than like normal songs where you hear more vocals and things like that coming through. I could really, really hear, you know, the different instruments in the song. So that was pretty cool. And, you know, for, I think it was sixty four ninety nine is what I paid plus tax, um, minus the gift card I had from Christmas, of course. But I, for that price, you cannot go wrong. This is a really, really great system. Um, I'm curious to see how long it's going to last me. My last system, the G51, I believe I had it in college, so that system lasted me well over, you know, seven, eight years before um, it, it finally died out. Um, like I said, the cons of this is I wish there was a, a desk-mounted um, control panel, um, and I'll I'll add a picture of it here in the in a pop-up window, but. It allowed you to control volume and mute the music or whatever you're listening to, mute your microphone. It had everything all in one, adjusting your levels, your your center speaker, you know, your rear and your subwoofer. So that was an all in one setting without having to go to the back of the subwoofer in order to just, you know, adjust your uh, your volume limit on it. Um, out of five stars, I would probably give this at least, you know, a good for the little time I've had with it. A nice three and a half. Um, to get to that four, I, I'd have to say I would like, you know, like I said, the the desk mounted um, control unit. Um, that would be a big plus. Um, I think, you know, the plastic for it, as far as the build of the speakers, it seems a little bit. It, it, they're lightweight. They seem a little bit chintzy. I'd be afraid if, you know, I had a, a hard floor or something like that if I dropped it, if something would break. Um, compared to my old speakers, where I put them through the ringer. Sometimes, you know, between falling and whatnot, um, in the process of moving, and they, they took a beating. So, um, yeah, can't go wrong. I would highly recommend this to anyone who's interested. And as always, thank you for watching.